welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over. Doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, not fight. Jersey inside Prudential Center. I can think of a lot of fighters that have had big moments inside these walls. Colby Covington, Anthony Rumble Johnson with a big knockout back in the day. We'll see who shines in front of this capacity crowd tonight. This is a great arena, but my memory goes to the one time that a guy at the barbershop tried to give me a hairline. He painted me a full-on black hairline. I said, you know what? I can't go to the arena looking like this. I can't show up. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. I need you to move, scramble. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Punches blocked. Beautiful body kick. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he eats a right hand there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, single collar tie now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good sequence there, the right hand followed by the left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Nice. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, a little single punch. Oh, nice job there. Had the takedown and scrambled to his feet. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Right hand on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Right hand upstairs. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hip, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Huge elbow lance from the clinch. Big kick lands. Round two next. And it could very well be anyone's fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. How good is that right hand? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Another clinch position. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his... That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. When you're in the clinch, you go to the body. That's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Boy, shot plump. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, we know needs to be some of the back. He's having to scramble, folks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice straight right land. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Takedown defense holds up. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Again, in the clinch. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Lee. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Some nice back and forth action here. Straight punch lands. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Way to hide that leg kick. Right, so lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch to the clinch. Lunges forward with a left there. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he caught the kick. Huge block there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Punch over the top. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will. Just watch knees to the body. Nice punch lands. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And 
I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Single collar tie there. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then a beautiful punch. Really got his opponent on notice. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. He's got the single collar tie. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice body kick. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful strike. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Get out of there. 20 seconds left. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Big kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Lee gets hit with a kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice leg kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch there. And they clinch once again. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna set the body off. Single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Again, they will clinch. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. That was a nice strike. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Just misses there with the left. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Man, how good is his right hook? Big head kick lands. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Good combination there by Lee. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. A 
a swing and a miss by Lee. Right hand punch from the three. Back and forth we go. Massive knee lands from the tie punch. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Overhand lands flush. That's a big strike right there. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, another knee by Lee. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with them. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Oh, A lot oh, of knees, a oh. lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Annick is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. <laughs> Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Big punch lands through the middle. Big power shot there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Big leg kick land. Out of range with that one. Oh, well placed with the uppercut there. You gotta dig deep here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Circling towards the left now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. There's no give on that leg kick. 
There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Elbow, lead elbow, yes. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big kick lands. Slips the punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing oh, every Master of the transition. Nice scramble. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shots. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. Nice straight punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Got clipped with the right hand. Just missed with the left there. Big knee lands to the bar. Back and forth we go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. 30 seconds to go in this round. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance, maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the knock. I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This is a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. Now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Assassin. Judge two scores it, 50-45, Lee. And judge three scores it, 50-45, for the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got 